Welcome to our Eagle team every first Tuesday's monthly training Zoom call. This is, of course, separate from our weekly Saturday calls in the Philippines, okay? So uh, why, wh why do we do this? Why does Greg and I offer this weekly training Zoom calls to our team? Because we are committed to helping you succeed. Again, committed. If you are committed to helping your team succeed, then you will do the same as leaders. I hope that your team are also here as well, and then you will be committed to your team as well. So number one, congratulate yourselves for being here today. It's January 2nd here in the United States and January 3rd in the Philippines. But here we are ready to rock and roll, you guys. No excuses. You could have said, oh, it's only, only January 2. I don't have to work. I don't have to listen to those Zooms. But investing in yourselves is the greatest, greatest decision to be able to help your business. So you will see the growth in your life vantage business if you are always on the go. So I'm very, very excited because today we are going to learn together. You see that together, not alone, how to set up a better sale this year than last year. If you didn't really do anything last year exciting, then make this year exciting for you guys. That said, our special guest trainee, trainer today will lead us all how to set up our goals for the year 2023. And whether you are in the U.S. or in the Philippines or anywhere in the world building your life vantage business, we all need to set our goals. It doesn't matter where you are. And we need to have a roadmap to success. And now it may vary a bit due to various promotions per country, but with US, with the US and Philippines market, Life Vantage offers the same MVP promo and rank advanced to pro for promo. So how do we kick off our business? Number one, commitment. Why commitment is one of the most important ingredients to a successful business? Because our business platform, network marketing, requires a two to five years commitment because it's not overnight, folks, okay? You understand that. Second is consistency. Because after committing, we must achieve consistency because doing this over and over allows you to master the skills just like Mark did. Necessary, it's necessary to build your, your team because your first 12 months will be trials and errors. You will have a lot of no's or rejections before you get more yeses or have people get on board. That said, don't do this alone, like I said. And the third is duplication. ITT, Invite Tools Team, is our simple system. We must duplicate the right principles and behaviors, okay? And why do these principles and behaviors come together in perfect harmony? because you cannot leave, a, a leave one without the other. So all of these ingredients are necessary to see the results and the goals you've set for yourself. And what a great opportunity for us to learn it from our executive master pro 10, or actually I like to call him master pro 11. Mark Shinsato who blocked her, his 30 minutes, 40 minutes of his time for us today to teach us these behaviors. And after that, we shall stay uh, you know, I, I want you to stay put to continue to brainstorm with me and make a few, I'll make a few announcements of my arrival in Manila by the end of January. So a little bit of Mark for those of you, because we have a lot of people, new people here. Mark, you folks, is such an amazing human being, period in a sense. He is loved by everyone because of his humility. His humility stands out. That's what I love about this guy. This, this man is Master Pro 11, but he's still, he's still very humble. And he still gives us so importance. You see, he's, he's here with us right now. And his love to serve others and love for his family stands out as well. That is why I have looked up to him as my mentor, my guy, my good friend. And for several years now, he has never left me behind. He was always check up on me. And he's always there when I need him. That is one heck of a person. So help me welcome our servant leader, Mr. Mark. Shin Sato. Take it away, Mark. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Thanks for coming on. And Mabuhai to all of you there in the Philippines. Excited to be on um, this call. It's a new year. I can't believe how fast it went. Well, I just got back. I've been in, I've been in uh, Mexico for the last uh, 
been, we've been building homes for Life Vantage Legacy. Uh, we built two homes um, from foundation to roof. And uh, and then we finished off two homes and we we uh, gave away two homes to two families. And I just want to share that with you because that's one of the exciting things that I love about Life Vantage is our Life Vantage Legacy that we get we get to give back. Not only do we um, get to build a business and change our lives, but we can change the lives of so many other people. And, you know, we are a wellness company and uh, and there's so many different meetings, but when you can have a roof over your head, um, to me, that's really building wellness within the family um, situation. We gave two homes away uh, to two sisters that um, they felt that it was, they've been living in one one bedroom apartment. Um, and there was, I think there were 12 people living in that home there. And it was just neat to see um, that they got a brand new start. So um, when we, when, when you're successful and we're successful, my, my plea to all of you is let's, give back a little and let's help those around us. Let's do some good. Um, with that, I'm excited to be with you. Uh, setting goals, right? It's it's the new year. And a lot of times we have different types of goals, but I want to bring you back to what do you really want out of your life, right? What do you want in the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years from now? I want you to really think about that, whatever that is, right? Take a moment in fact, I want you to just jot down what do you want to be in the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years from now? Can you just take out a piece of paper and just write down? And if you already thought about it, can you go back um, and write down where, where do you want to be in the next 20, 30 years of your life? And if you already thought about it, just reconnect with it and rewrite it down again. Because I think it's so important. And the next question is why? Why do you want to be there in the next 20, 30 years? What is what, what do you want out of life in the next 20, 30 years? And the why is why you're doing it. I'll share a little bit about my what and why as you're thinking. Yeah, I just want I want my kids and my family. I want them to be good people. That's my number one goal in life in, in 20, 30 years from now, to be able to be good people. And I want them to be hardworking. I want them to be honest. I want them to do good and serve others. Um, and and we, we have a good life. You know, we've built a, a Kai said, a pro, pro 11 life. And, you know, the average pro 11 income is, you know, $100,000 a, a month. So it's a good income. But I want my kids to know that they got to work too. I want, I want them to know how to work, um, not just to receive the life, but how to, how to work and how to create that and how to pass that down from generation to generation, not the cash, not just the lifestyle, but I want them to know um, and to pass down the how to create that lifestyle so that we can pass that how to build income and how to how to build life from one generation to the other so it doesn't disappear after two generations. That's the what I want and why. I just I just want them to be good people. That's part of my why too. And I want to teach them because I love them. And I want to teach them to be great people. Um, I want to teach them that money is money is important. Without money, it's tough, right? But money isn't the most important thing. And I and I want to teach them the value of hard work and service, um, and yet live that life. So that's my what, and they're my why. And whatever your goal is, I want—I just want to reconnect you back to that because I think it's so important to know where you want to go. Because if you don't know where you're going to go or where you want to go, it's really tough to get there. So now that you know what you want, right, and you know why you want that, how important is it to you on a scale of 1 to 10? Can you just write it on your paper? You don't have to share it with me. But how important is it for you in the next 20 to 30 years to live that life? 
how important scale of one to ten you just write it down on your piece of paper or if you want you can throw it in the chat box as well and this is for you not for me not for kai not for um beth or marge or whoever it's for you how important do you how bad do you want this okay and here's why i ask that question because it's not always easy to get there right but will it be worth it to live the life that you want to live i think it i think it is worth it okay now let me go back there's a lot of different goals i'm going to take this a little different direction okay on goals setting goals for the new year um whatever your goal is that long-term goal i like to usually work backwards so you know looking at at, at the next uh you you know 10 in, in 20 30 years this is where you want to go i like to look at the next seven years five to seven years and say here's where i got to be in the next five to seven years and then work backwards okay um but i'm gonna change it up just a little we're, we're gonna work backwards but i'm gonna give you some goals for you to work on wherever you want to go this next activity is going to help to get you there it just depends how fast you do it okay and so if whether you want to be a pro three or five or seven or eight nine ten it doesn't matter where you want to be um, i'm going to show you some activities and i'm going to ask you to set some goals around the activities not just i want twenty thousand dollars a month but I want, I want you to set the activities to, to do it or not to do, okay? So for example, I call it um, three, nine, four, okay? Three, nine, four, and I used to call it five, 10, five. We're gonna revamp it just a little bit because some of the promotions that we have running on, going on now, okay? So the first is three. I want, I want you all, uh, the first goal is to get to MVP bronze, right? MVP bronze. What does that mean? To enroll three people that want to do the business with you. So, so important. Find three people that want to do the business with you. Okay? Not just want someone that wants better health and look better to use good products, but someone that wants to build a, a different life. Okay? Change your life. So three. The nine is, I want you to look for nine customers, okay? Good, you see this um, MVP bonus, find this tier one, find the, first, the three blue people that wanna do the business with you. So get them enrolled and get them on auto ship or subscription, okay? Really, really important of at least 200 subscription a month, okay? Um, now, we can close that please, Kai, okay? So get to bronze. Find three people that want to run, uh, do the business with you. Three, what does a nine stand for? I want you to find nine customers, nine customers that people don't want to do the business. Here's what we do sometimes in our business. We find the people that want to be customers and we talk them in to being a distributor, right? We say, just buy this platinum pack or buy this pack uh, and you can get some discount on your products. And we do that to people. But guess what? They don't want that. They just want to be a, a customer. But here's what happens in conscious, subconsciously in their mind. If you talk them into buying a pack, then this is what they think. I'm a distributor, right? But they don't do anything because they want to be a customer. So they buy a pack. And then over time, guess what? They're not making any money because they're not building the business. They're not doing the activity. And because they're not doing the activity, they make no money. And guess what they think? This business doesn't work. I bought that platinum pack, I make no money. It doesn't work. And guess what they go do? They go tell other people that life vantage doesn't work. But guess what? They didn't do the activity. So here's, what, here's a little mind shift. If you're talking people into buying a pack that they just wanna be, if they just wanna be a customer, don't, stop. Turn that off for now. Just enroll them as a customer, okay? Enroll them as a customer. And in the United States, we have something called um, collagen cash, right? 
So in the United States, for example, you can just get them as a, a collagen customer in the United States. In the Philippines, you have Protandum, you have um, NAD and NERF-1, right? NERF-1, NERF-2, and, and sorry, and NAD, correct? Yes. Here? That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I want you to get them on that on that trisynergizer there. Okay. So if they're not, if they're not, if they don't want to be customers, I mean sorry, business people, just get them on a trisynergizer. Okay. As a as a go, because that's going to give the best um, health benefits if you can get them on that trisynergizer. Okay. In the United States, um, either get them on the trisynergizer or get them on college and cash, but just Get get customers three three distributors nine customers okay, and then we're going to run to Pro Four. That's the go. Now, if you're a go getter, if you're a go getter, you can do it as soon as you can in the first month or the first couple of months. If you if if it sounds like oh that's a lot right, three and nine if that's a lot and it is a lot. Right, it is a lot, but if you go get a go for it. But if you th if you feel when I, when I say three and nine, and you're thinking, "Ooh, that's a lot," then here's what I want you to do: one and three. Find one distributor to go build business with you, and three customers. Okay, one and three, and I want you to do that every month, minimum one and three every month. One and three every month, whether you're in the, in the Philippines or in the United States, I want you to find one business builder, one distributor, and three customers every month. Okay, that's, that is the goal when we talk about goal setting. You have all these different goals, everyone's goal of where they want to be in the next 5, 10, 20 years, a little different for different people. Whether you want to make a little or you want to make a lot, it's the activity that's going to get you to where you want to go. And so my challenge to you is to make a goal for yourself. And if you think that one and three is easy, then go do two and six. If you think two and six is easy, go do your three and nine in that first month. And then every month after that, one and three, one and three, one and three. And that's the goal, because here's why. That's how you're going to build a massive organization, okay, is by finding people that want to build a business with you and then finding customers that love the product. Because if they love the product and you follow up with them, one day they might want to, maybe get the product free. And that's when you can convert them to a distributor and show them how to make some money to buy, to get the products free every month. Or if they're a customer and they start to love what the products do, whether it's, gosh, I'm using this beautiful skincare products and it's changing my face, or I'm using these health and wellness products and it's changing my life. And, and they start to see that and like it, guess what they're gonna do? Then you can say, do you know anyone else that, right, wants to feel better? Do you know anyone else that wants to have better looking skin? Then they can introduce you to some other people. Okay, so my, it's a little different thinking. Instead of looking at here's what I want to be and setting your goal, I want you to set the goal on at least one in three, right, and the quicker you can get to the one and three every month and then help your people. The next part of the goal is how many people will you help do one and three, one and three or three and nine? How many people are you going to help? Uh, that's a different goal. I want you to look at how many people you want to help. So if you find your three and nine this month, then guess what? Then you can help the three of those people do the same thing. If you're going to find the one person, right? Well, one and three, then say this year, how many people do I want to help to duplicate those activities? Okay. And remember, not everyone's going to do it. So if you do one and three every month, that means you're going to have 12 distributors in the year. So what if you help 
half of them do that, have half do the three and nine or the one and three a month, right? That's how you're going to grow your business. So make those types of goals. How many people I want to help and how fast do I want to get to my one and three, one and three or my three and nine, okay? And then you go and just keep doing that over and over and over and over again. Get to your one and three and help those people. How fast can I help those people? And how and continue to help all those brand new people that's in your organization do the three or nine or at least one and three. Okay, so I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk minimums now. The three and nine is is here's the best case scenario, three and nine this month. But let me get back to the to, to, to the common denominator, one and three every month, okay? If you can commit to yourself, no matter what you do, that every month you're going to get one and three, and you're going to help that, that new person. If it's one and three, now you're going to help the next month, help that one new distributor do the same activity, one and three, okay? And every new person that comes in, the, the, the setting the new goal is, Will I help them or not? Will you help your new distributors, whether it's yours or, or your distributors' distributors? Will you help them do the one and three? I want you to think about that because that's how you're going to build a massive organization, not just not only doing the one and three yourself, but helping your team members do the one and three. I'm going to put you on the spot. If you are willing to do the one in three and help your team, right? The new distributors do the one in three. Can you put in that chat me or put your name in the chat? I want to see your names. Put your name in the chat. If you're willing to do the one in three and help your team to do the one in three. Me, that's Kai. Okay, Candy's going to do it. Benita's going to do it. Beth is going to do it. Mess is going to do it. Risa is going to do it. Emmy, Maria, Percy, Marge, yay, Marge, okay. Maria's, Emmy, Millet. Now, this commitment is for you. It's not for me. I've already built my, built my legacy. My next dream, one of my goals is I want to create 100 new pro tens. And I'm going to, I, I'm back on the road helping people build their business. So I'm hoping, hoping I'm going to help you get to Pro 10 as well. Okay. So to recap, right? One in three a month, and you're going to help your new people one in three. Okay. And by doing that, you're going to help yourself and your team members get run to Pro 4. For those of you that have some Pro 2s and 3s in your business, I'm going to give you one other goal to think about. I want you to look at the Pro 2 and 3s in your organization. Okay? So let's say you have a Pro 3. Let's say that Pro 3 is Robbie. Okay? You're going to find Robbie in your organization. Then I want you to look at Robbie's organization Look at the brand new distributors under Robbie. And I want you to help those brand new distributors under Robbie do the one in three. One in three every month. You're going to commit to help those brand new distributors get to one in three every month. And those and the new ones that they're enrolling, you're going to help them get to one in three. By doing that, by helping Robbie's distributors get to do the one in three every month, you're going to help Robbie get to four rank advanced to pro four and that's and that's how they're going to participate in the run to pro four promotion and if you can help some of your people get to four and then gets what's going to happen to you you're going to hit four by helping them get to four right so a couple of things again right the big goal three nine four enroll your three at least every quarter, right? That means one and three every month. That get, that'll get you to your nine customers. And then you're going to help uh, help your people run to pro four. Okay? So with that, any questions? 
about the activity. I'm going to ask you to set some of your own goals in just a second. But that's the activity. Any questions about the activity? Why that's important? The philosophy behind that? Okay. So here's the next thing I want to ask you. To set a goal for yourself. Whatever, that, whatever you decide, right? Am I going to do it? That's the first thing, right? And the second thing is how many people I'm going to help this year. In fact, let's just start month to month. How many people do you want to help do the same type of thing this year? This, this year. Because if you're just starting, then you, you're not going to have too many people to help. But how many people this year do you want to help to duplicate that, those activities, the one and three, or the three and nine, and run to four? And I'm going to give you one more thing. In the next three months, how many of you, right, how many of you want to get to pro four? in the next three months. That's another goal, right? So if you want to get to four, will you commit to do your three and nine? And how many people will you commit this year to help do the same? Can you write that down? Just take a little time and be realistic. Be realistic because you know it's a lot of hard work. But here's what I promise you. If you can help people, help your team and yourself to get to bronze, Right, one and three, once a month at the minimum, you're going to get to bronze. You're going to get your customers. You're going to start to build that customer base up. And that's going to help you get to pro four. So how many of you will commit? That's the goal. I commit to do it, right? And I'm going to start now, and I want to run to pro four. Anyone want to run to pro four by March? Gives us three months. End of March. Okay. Any questions around that? Hello, Mark. Uh, Gio in the Philippines. We're just helping our team. Sometimes we, we, we forget ourselves to comply those, the 394. Yes. But we are helping our people get downlines. We accompany them uh, to their prospects. Is that applicable to this uh, program? It is absolutely right. We're, we're not going to change that. We're going to we're going to help our people, right? You're going to help your people. You're going to help them to do the presentations. You're going to help them uh, to follow up. You're going to help them to enroll, right? But the goal again is you're going to help your team, every one of your distributors. That, that would be my goal. Help all my distributors do one and three, one new distributor a month and three customers a month. That's the goal, to help not just you do it, but help your team members do that as well. And remember, not everyone's going to do it, right? But if some of them start to do it, your organization will grow. That's the keys. Help everyone in your organization duplicate the actions. Does that make sense, Kier? Yeah, yeah. But the Philippines sitting here is different from yours, uh, from, uh, different from the U.S. That's what we do here in the United States as well. I don't think it's too much different. I, I know the activity is going to be the same, whether you're in the Philippines, in Australia, in Japan, in Kansas City, United States, in Texas, United States, in the U.K., the activity and the activities are the same. You might change culturally how you do it, but the activities are going to be the same, right? You do it in restaurants. You do it one-on-one. -on -one. You do it on Zoom. You can do a little uh, bigger sometimes meetings if you have a little bigger place. But the activity is invite, tell the story, follow up, right? Answer any questions they have, get them enrolled, and you're going to do it all over again and again and again and again and again. Maybe I was misunderstood, Kai. Did I? No, you're, you're good. You're good, Mark. Uh, okay. he, he, uh, Kier just wanted to make sure that um, you know uh, the one and three are duplicated. He he thought that uh, we are doing it just just for us, but uh, he just wanted to make sure that that if we're doing it one three one three one three then our team should also be taught how to do the same behavior 
that's why I told him it's duplication care. So, so you're good. You have to teach. Good. If you're doing Very it here, good. that means you have to teach your team. Uh, you're setting a good example, actually. If you're doing that with your team, then you're already showing them how to do it, and then they will just follow it. Perfect. Okay, any other questions, Hello. comments before we go? Marge, any, any, anything you want to add, Ms. Marge? Uh, thank you so much. Um, I love this uh, new, uh, you know, simplified um, approach or how to duplicate using the, the promotion that we have right now. Because I've been teaching also um, our team regarding um, but the, the 5, 10, 5, then we will also do this one to make it simple, yeah. especially for distributors. It's basically the same thing. We just change the numbers to match the promotion that we have there. But you're going to enroll your three. You're going to get to bronze, right? If you can do it in one month, great. If it takes you three months, great. Okay? One a month, you're going to get to bronze. And then make sure your team is doing the same thing. You're going to help your team. And then guess what? Once you get to bronze and enroll your three, then go back and enroll three more. And you're going to get six. So that's your five. That's going to be close to your five. So one and three, one and three a month minimum as a goal. Help your teams to duplicate every one of your team. One and three, one and three, one and three. Um, and, and the Mark, goal is whether you're going to do it or not. Yes. Mark, I'd like you to actually, I'd like them to hear it from you because I, I do tell them. But maybe uh, you can bring a little bit of uh, uh, ex more explanation and justification because in the Philippines market, they're having a tough time achieving the MVP. It's because, of course, number one, Filipinos don't have enough cash uh, to have that 200 PV. But uh, if you could explain to them, like I do explain to them, that there is a way to actually have that 100 PV or 200 PV in order to win that MVP bonus is because the reason why they're probably not having that money uh, MVP 200 PV is because they're not doing anything but truly if they enroll one distributor and three customers that is more uh, more than enough sufficient to pay for their 200 PV so can you elaborate uh, why is it important for them to have an automatic shipment scheduled in their back office because number one, they're not going to get paid. But, you know, I think coming from you would probably enlighten them even a bit more. Sure. Well, the subscription is, is key, right? If you want to build a long-term business, you need to make sure that everyone is on subscription. And sometimes we think, okay, 200, how can I get that 200 to qualify? Well, if, if you, could you pull up that um, chart that you sh showed a little earlier? Hold and on. this is all I do with it. All of our new people, I just have them print out this chart. So you're on the top. And what you're going to do is you're just going to enroll your three people here, right? So once you enroll your people, now here's how you're going to help them to get the 200 PV. Well, guess what? Guess what they're going to do? They're going to do the same thing. They're going to enroll, right, their three people or one a month. One new distributor and three customers a month and if you can do that one in three one in three that person's going to qualify for the 200 do you see that that's why you gotta you gotta work you gotta start to move right away. as soon as you enroll you gotta go to work but what does work mean you gotta invite you gotta invite you gotta invite you gotta you gotta tell the light you gotta do the presentation or have your upline do a presentation for you right and then you're going to enroll your one person and your three customers. The customer's not on this chart here, but you want your three customers. You're one person, your three customers. The next month, you're gonna enroll, you do the same thing, you invite, um, to do presentation after presentation after presentation, you can enroll your second person, and then your three customers. And do you see how you're gonna help that person qualify? And then when this person enrolls, guess what you gotta do? As soon as that person, that orange person enrolls, you got to go work with them. You got to teach them how to how to um, invite. So you, then you're going to invite their people. You're going to do presentation after presentation after presentation. You're going to help them enroll their one person and their three customers. And now that person enrolls. And guess what you got to do with that one person? You can help that one person teach them how to invite. You got, you got to help them do presentations so that they can enroll their one and three. 
Every, every time someone enrolls, you're going to help them. And the key is, and, and get them on subscription. If they say, well, I don't have the money, well, that's you, two things you can do. You can say, I don't have the money, or you can say, how am I going to create it? That's the winner. The winner says, how will I create it? And, and, and the answer is, I'm going to help them enroll. I'm going to enroll, help them enroll one and get my three minimum every single month, right? That's how you're going to create enough volume to qualify as the MVP brand. And you're going to do it month after month after month after month. You're going to continue to build depth. New person <laughs> after new person after new person. Subscription is key. Yes, Candy, you have your hand raised. Yeah, because like I have a few customers, right? But then they don't spend worth 200 PV per month. Like they only spend about 40 or 100. So like, um, could you tell me how I could increase that volume? Because like to, to reach the MVP, then each customer has to have 200 PV every month. The customers don't have to have 200 PV. The distributor has to have the 200 PV. And the distributor 200 PV, their customers PV plus their own purchases count towards that 200. So let me clarify that again, right? It's not the customers that have to have the 200 PV. It's the distributor. And how does the distributor qualify? It's my own purchase plus my customer's purchase. So if I get the one new distributor and the th three customers, and some will do 40, some will do 80, some whatever it is, plus your own, if it's 200, you qualify. They qualify for the 200 every okay. month. So your customer doesn't have, each customer doesn't have to have a 200 PV every month. No, they don't. Okay. But you want to make sure that each distributor has a 200 PV every month. Okay, thank you. Thank you for clarifying okay. that. So that, but that's how you do it. You're going to just, you got to, but you got to work. The activity is enroll. You want what? At least how many candy distributors a month you want to enroll? What's the minimum though that we talked about every month that we're going to Sorry. do? Three customers. Three customers. Three customers. How many distributors? One distributor. One distributor. How many customers? Three. Three. One and three. That's all I want you to remember is one yeah. and three. What are you going to do every month, everyone? One okay. distributor, and, distributor three customers. and three customers. Okay. And if you're a go-getter, if you consider yourself a go-getter, then do your three and nine. Okay. But if it seems too much, then at least every month, one and three, and that's how you're going to qualify for MVP bronze. If you do one and three, so one this month, it's January, right? And three customers. Next month, you're going to do what? One and three. So now that you're going to have two distributors and how many customers? Six customers after the second month. And in March, you're going to do what? One and three. So how many, how many distributors by, the, by March? Three. How many, uh, how many distributors? Three. How many customers? Nine. Three, six, nine. Do you see how you do that? Okay. One and three. That's all I want everyone to remember. That's the goal. We talked about goal setting. If you can, if you can set the goal to do that every month, watch what happens in the next year, two, three, five, ten you will become a master pro 10 if you can if you can do one and three every month and teach your team to duplicate one and three every month one and three that's all you got to remember one and three one and three one and three and once you get your three distributors what are you going to do keep doing it you're going to go you're going to do three more you're going to one and three one and three Right. So if you do that for a whole year, how many distributors we have in, in a year minimum that you personally enrolled? At least 12. And then you're helping all of your distributors do that same thing. So what are you going to have? A bunch more. Do you see how and, and, and how many customers? A bunch. 
That's how you're going to get yourself, right, to rank advance from pro one to two to three to four to five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? Help your teams, not just you, but help your team duplicate the minimum one and three, one and three, one and three. Is that is that a little more clear? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Crystal right. clear, Mark. Thank you very much. That's the goal that I want you to set for yourself. One and three. And if it's too easy, do okay. two and six. One more question, Ops. Yes. One, one question. To become a bronze, is it applicable people that I spilled over to my downlines? When you say spilled uh, over, what do you mean? Placement. He meant placement, Mark. Placement. Can, oh. can I share my own thoughts about placement? Here's my thought. No placement. Placement is on your front line only, okay? That's, that's what I teach. That's what I do. And here's why. I, I, I used to think, okay, I want to I wanna spill over. I want to place under my team. But guess what? Life Vantage is a business, right? And how do you make money? By working. What is working? One and three, one and three, one and three, right? That's, that's the work. That's what we do. And all the steps in between, right? The inviting and following up and all that. But one and three, one and three, one and three. The enrollment. That's the work. So guess what happens when you place someone? You teach them to be lazy. Because that now they're thinking, oh, guess what? Kier's going to do it for me. Kier's going to place some. He's going to spill some over to me. And subconsciously, people are thinking, oh, Kier's going to do it for me. And subconsciously, that you're teaching them to what? Not work as hard as they should. Now, in a job, in a regular job, if people are lazy and they don't work as hard, what happens? Right? They're fired from that job. They got to do the work. So my philosophy is I want to set everyone up to win. So I'm going to teach everyone to work hard. So I don't place. I've never placed customers or distributors. I never placed. Okay. And then guess what? You place under one person. So I put someone under Kier. Let's say Kier. I put some under, someone under you. And then um, Anne finds out that I put someone under Kier. And Anne says to me now, Mark, where's mine? When are you going to spill over and put someone under me? And if I don't put someone, guess what happens to Anne? She's going to get mad, right? <laughs> and maybe she quits. It's not fair, right? So let's say I put someone under Anne. Okay, I'm going to put someone under Anne. I, I sponsor someone under Anne. Now I enroll someone under Anne and guess what? Play someone under Anne and guess what happens? What if that person doesn't work and is a dud, right? Doesn't do any volume. Now Anne's going to say, oh, you liked Kier more than you liked me. How can you put a someone that doesn't work under me and you to put someone that went to Pro 7 under Kier? That's not fair. And guess what happens? She may get mad and she may quit or slow down in the activity. Okay? So I put some under Anne. Now, guess Mila now finds out and says, how can you put someone under Kier and Anne? And Mila's going to want you to play someone under Mila. Right? Can you, can you, Keep placing under everyone in your organization? Probably not, right? I don't know about you. I've been doing this for 14 years, and I, I have, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people in my organization and I, to place under other people. So I, I, I teach don't place, right? Teach people to what? One and three, one and three, one and three. Just teach them to do that every month. And you're going to help them to one and three. Help them doesn't mean that you're going to place. Help them means that you're going to take their list. You're going to help them to invite. You're going to help them to do a presentation. You're going to help them to follow up, answer questions. And you're going to help to enroll them. 
And once they enroll that new person, then guess what you're going to help them do? Help that new person do what? Help them teach them how to invite, teach them how to pre you know, do presentation, you're going to follow up, you're going to enroll, help them enroll their new person. And you're going to teach them that process. And by doing that, that's how I built a Pro 11 Executive Master organization. And let me tell you, here's what I learned. In another business, I built, I placed someone <laughs> and built a Pro 9 organization, equivalent of a Pro 9 organization under that person. And guess what that person did? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Because I taught them that they didn't have to work by placing people under them. Okay? Does that make sense? That's just what I think. You can do whatever you want. This is your business. But here's what I learned, that when you teach people to one and three, one and three, one and three, one and three, to work, that's how they grow an, an enormous organization. And that's how you get paid month after month after month after month. And I've never missed a check. Every single month from day one, I've received a check. And by teaching people to one and three, to go to work and not place, that's how I've built an executive master position. And I've never gone backwards. Every single month I've qualified. I've never dropped from executive master. How do you do that? You teach in the right activity and goal setting. One and three, one and three, one and three, one and three, and run to pro four. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Mark.
Now, what do you want? 